mean and variance, for instance, I, as you, you have you have a distribution, now, you have a, this as a moment generating function now. And I say, okay, find the expected value of y. Okay, find the expected value of y. Okay, your expected value of y, if this guy is m, y of t, you differentiate. Okay, you're going to do d, m, y of t, dt, and set it to zero. Okay, that's what you're going to do here. Let, let's try it. Let's see. We all know the mean. You know, the other time, we derived the mean of binomial, right? It's mp, right? Let's see. Let's differentiate this. You have to go, you ha if I were you, you have to revise your knowledge of calculus. This is a composite function. How do I differentiate this with due respect to t? So, this is going to be, this guy is going to come down, block it, come down, block it, differentiate inside. With due respect to t, this is going to be zero. I'm going to have this guy. I'm going to have this guy. Then you're going to rewrite the whole thing. You rewrite the whole thing. Then raised to power n minus 1. Okay, this is the first derivative. This is the derivative of this guy. Now, what am I going to do now? Set it to 0. Okay, let's set it to 0 now. Okay, when you set it to 0, you're going to have this guy. Uh, this guy plus q raised to power that. So what does that mean? There's going to be 1, right? This is one, P plus Q, one. Okay, what do we have? MP. Do you see that? We have derived the mean of binomial distribution from moment generating function. Okay, you can go all the way. If I, I can ask you to find the expected value of Y squared, you know, I can say find the expected value of Y squared. Okay, also find the variance, of, of course. You know, expected value of Y squared, it means you're going to come here again and differentiate this guy. Okay, the second derivative, plug in t, uh, plug in t to zero, that will give you expected value of y squared. The moment you have expected value of y squared and you have expected value of y, then you'll be able to get, um, you know, um, what I asked you to derive. Okay, so practice that for all distribution. Now, the rest of my time today, I'm actually going to spend it on another powerful way of deriving moment that we call probability generating function. Is there any question before I go into probability generating function? Is there any question before going to probability generating function? Now, look at the word probability generating function. It means we can use, we can, we can use the function, we can use it to generate probability. And not only that, we can also use it to generate uh, movement as well. But uh, let me tell you the difference between the probability generating function and the movement generating function. Probability generating function only apply to discrete distribution. Why movement generating function apply to both discrete and continuous? Does, does that make sense? Okay. So, and that is the reason why, if you take a look at the definition here, it's a useful tool for dealing with a discrete random variable. Okay? Now, I'm going to walk you through that now. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, so, moment generating function is a generalization of a probability generating function. Probability generating function is a special form of moment generating function. Okay, now PGF, that is probability generating function. You know, the probability generating function is a power series of representation of uh, probability distribution of discrete random variable. Now look at the way it's going to be. Okay, uh, I'm going to write, this is mathematically speaking, I'm going to write gx of t. Okay, because I've been using t in this material, I, I, it's x. There's no problem. Okay, do you see? Uh, gs is x. This is, you can use s, I can use t. But why, am I, why do I want to use t now? Because I've been using t for moving generating functions. So, just wanted to see. Now, this is going to be expectation of t raised to power x. Now, can we see the difference between moment generating function? The moment generating function, okay, and x of t is this. Look at the difference. This is exponential raised to power t s, but this is this is a uh, expected value of t raised to power s. 
Can you see the difference? Now, if I have this guy now, gs of t, uh, which is going to be this. Now, if, if, if x is a random variable, if x is a random variable, if x is a random variable, then gs of t, of course, we, we can only use probability generating function for discrete random variable. We don't use it for continuous, okay? Now, gs of t is going to be summation. Please pay attention. This f of x, right? Which is f of s is going to be uh, that particular probability distribution uh, under consideration, okay? And of course, uh, of course, uh, the, you're going to have values in the first cell in real numbers. Now, I want you to pay attention now, okay? If I do this, you know what I mean? That the, that I want to do the derivative of a probability generating function. I need you to pay attention. You know, when I do the derivative right now, it's actually going to give you something that you have seen before in this class. Now, take a look at this. Um, if I do the derivative, this is going to be x, right? t, x minus 1, f of x, right? Look at that. Let's go again. We got to go again now. Let's go again now. Okay, go again. Oh my God, look at that. It's going to be this, okay? Take a look at this. You've been seeing us in this class talking about expectation into x into x minus 1. Where does it come from? They actually come from here. Now, take a look at this. If I decide to, I want to continue now, okay? I want to continue now, okay? Uh, and, and before continue, okay, if I plug in, if I plug in, if I plug in zero, okay, to wherever I see T, okay, if I plug in zero, then you're actually going to see something. If I plug in uh, zero for T here too, you're actually um, going to see something. But let me tell you this. I'm going to show you stuff right now. Now, when I continue to go, when I when I continue to go, when I continue to go, maybe I have this guy, GS of T, okay, how much is going to be X, X minus 1, S minus 2, S minus 3, F of S. Now let me tell you this. In moment generating function, right? Well, well, we were plugging what? T to be 0, right? In probability generating function, we're going to be plugging 1. Okay? If I plug in 1 here, what do we have? If I plug in 1, oh my God. I'm actually, if I plug in 1, okay? If I plug in one here, it's going to be this, isn't it? What is that? What is this? That is first moment about the origin. You see that? That is the mean. That's another way. If I want to derive mean using probability generating function, this is what I'm going to do. Okay? When I when I when I when you come here now, when you come here now, and you plug in one. What are you going to have? You're going to have this guy. And what is the meaning? This is expectation into x into x minus 1. Do you remember that we've been using this in this class? Do you remember? Now, another name for PGF. We call it factorial moment. You can also get factorial, factorial moment. Okay? The first factorial moment is the mean. The second factorial moment is this guy. Does that make sense to you now? Now, and you know that this guy, 
is if I, you know, when I have g prime prime x into 1, which is this guy, right, is the same as this minus that, right? Now, when you take a look at this guy, now the g prime prime x of 1, okay, uh, that will be x squared, you have this and that. And I want you to take a look at something. You know, the variance of s is expectation of s squared minus this, right? You remember? Okay. Now, if I actually, if I want to get out here now, you know, expectation of s squared. Please, I, I need you to pay, to pay attention. Pay attention. Okay, now from here, you know, g prime prime x of 1 equal, equal this, okay, a, a of s squared, okay, e of s squared minus, what is e of s? You know, e of s is this, right? g prime x of 1. Now, how do I find, my, how do I find that? So this guy is this g prime prime x of 1 plus g prime x of 1. Take a look at that. Now, if I finally now want to find my variance, okay, variance of s, okay, expected value of s squared, which is this guy, g prime prime x plus g prime, okay, then minus the square of that, minus g prime x of 1 squared. Now, do you know I can ask a question in exam and I said that I gave you a paper.